What's going on team? I'm glad you made it back to another workout video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to work on your lower back with just using your body weight. Alright everybody, so before we get started, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button because I definitely know you're going to enjoy this video. Alright, so lower back is a very funny muscle set of muscle groups just because when you're talking about the core, most people always work on the, their transverse abdominis, their rectus abdominis, their internal obliques and their external obliques but seldom do you very do you see people really working on their lower back and because of that that makes your lower back a lot weaker because everything else is so much stronger pulling it forward and pulling it to the sides so now it's not really getting that strength and people tend to become imbalanced when they're exercising their lower back when in just in general so when they're exercising their lower back you have to be very delicate with it and I would say ease into it so that you're not hitting that many reps at once so you can slowly start getting stronger and building your strength and once you become a lot more stronger and a lot more balanced with your lower back and the rest of your core then you can start hitting it a lot harder but to begin with these are some of the one, some of the best exercises that you can do for your lower back and the rest of your core at the same time to strengthen it and help you stay strong at the same time so first thing we're going to do is start with an inverted plank so most people usually do a regular plank going forward and that does um, work on your lower back as well but if you want to target your lower back a little more you would do an inverted plank so what you would do is have your fingers facing behind you you can have your feet the more advanced version would be having your feet in front of you and raising through your hips so from here what you want to do is really squeeze down pushing up against the ground so you feel your whole posterior chain which is, would be your back your calves your hamstrings your glutes and everything on the back side of you working so from there you want to be able to have your hips go over your toes so you can't see your toes and you would just hold this for time as you would a regular plank if this position is a little too advanced for you what you can do is bend your knees and do the same thing so you would want to raise your hips as high as you can here and also pressing down down with your feet into the floor and barely being able to see your knees and then from just doing that position right there you'll be able to hold it and feel everything on your backside working getting a lot stronger which is definitely going to be help working on your lower back as well the next thing i would do is also considered more of an oblique exercise what it's going to be is a side plank so what we're going to do is we'll start with the side plank we're going to go for 30 seconds right here if you could do it on your forearm on your hand more power to you whichever one is more is easiest for you so the reason I like doing this exercise for your lower back is because it's gonna help wake up your glute medius which is on the side of your butt and that's also part of your core as well so a lot of people don't really consider your butt as being part of your core but I kind of think of everything from under your chest down to like about your hip and your butt area should be considered your core so that's why I like to wake up my obliques as well and at the same time it's getting that side of your lower back and you're using it to help you stabilize in this position as well most people don't really train their obliques or do side planks as well so something like this is gonna fire you up and really help you feel it in your lower back as well three two and one awesome so back to what I was saying about the glute medius is gonna tie into this next exercise glute medius usually you'll find it on the side of your butt to the inside of your butt and that's gonna help you have a cushion for when you're using your lower back and exercises you don't want to strain your lower back so much and usually what you do is you'll contract your glutes to help you not exceed the range of motion that you need to when you're working on your lower back so for that is why we exercise it as well so we're gonna go back into the plank position and if you can't yet you can do the leg raises from leaning down position but if you feel like you got it then we'll go into the side plank and we're gonna wrap it out for 10 reps so you can go for one two three really feeling the squeeze four and the glutes the oblique and also you'll feel it in the lower back when you're exercising that glute medius it also does help co-contract the lower back so it's great to put them together in the same workout so if you just hit a nice good leg day you're going to work on your core instead of working on those leg raises go for some side leg raises going into a plank 
working on the obliques and working on that lower back. Five, six, seven, and you'll definitely feel it. Eight, nine, and 10. Again, you can definitely do it holding yourself up on your hand right here. You would actually want to be a little lower so that way the shoulder is going straight down into the hand. Squeeze through the glutes, stabilize your body, and you'll feel your whole lats, your whole backside working. And you would just raise them up just like that. Same thing. I do feel that when you do it with your hands on the floor, you feel it a little more in your arms and your upper body rather than in the actual core. You do feel it a little more in the glute media still, in your butt. Maybe that's just because I just finished the other ones. So those are the first three exercises there. Once we finish those exercises, then we can bring ourselves down to the floor. So the first floor exercise we're gonna be doing are Superman holds and Superman reps. So what that is, is you lay on your stomach, you have your arms and legs spread out like in a starfish, and then you raise up and raise back down. Lift the chest up as high as you can, lifting your legs back down and repping that out. So we're gonna go for 10 of these as well. So you're lifting up, six, come all the way down, seven, here you're feeling the glutes contract as you're lifting up. That's so you don't hyper extend your back, right? Nine and 10. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold here. This is gonna help us also get that blood flow going to the muscles to really help us get a good workout in that lower back. This is also gonna be one of those isometrics, sort of like a plank. You're gonna feel that lower back, the glutes contracting, and we'll let go. All right, you can give yourself a little rest. And that exercise alone is great. You can practice it with your legs straddled out and your arms straddled out as well, like if you were in a starfish, how I did just now. Or you can do it with your feet and your arms together, shoulders width in front of you, raising up, raising back down. Doing them both is definitely great because it's gonna target your muscles differently. So I would definitely practice them more when you're doing them with your legs straddled out, you definitely have a little more of the side glute action and leg action working in your favor. So that's one thing to think about. The last floor exercise we're gonna be doing is gonna be snow angels. So for snow angels, you do them similar to how we were doing the supermans. You raise yourself up, but from this position, we're gonna hold. We're gonna bring the arms straight back behind us, squeezing, trying to get the hands to touch together and then back forward in front. That's one. Right there, keeping the tension, squeezing. You're gonna feel this in the shoulders, the triceps, the arms, the glutes, the lower back, hamstring, all back there. All right, and 10. You can get a nice good squeeze back here. Feel that, slowly back forward, and feel that squeeze. Awesome. So that's gonna be the last floor exercise that we have for today. All right, so the second to last exercise we're gonna be doing is trunk lifts. So you can be doing that almost like the Superman's, or you got the hamstring machine at the gym. You just hook your legs in from right over here clear your space and then from here let your trunk go all the way down and lift yourself up you cross your arms over your chest that's safe place and don't go so high just to about level with your body all right and you want to get a nice little extra burn you can hold it up top this will definitely make it more challenging if regular reps are too easy. It has a quick 10. And then we're gonna move into the next exercise. All right, so the last exercise we're gonna be doing is leg lifts. With leg lifts, you would find yourself having a bench that you can hang your legs off of. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab on, hinge yourself about hip level, grab on. Once you bring your feet in, crunching them in, 
and then extend them out. This exercise is also a little advanced because now you have all of your leg weight putting pressure on your back. But if that's too much, you can come out with your legs a little bit or you could even just bring your knees out. You can go for 10 reps of these. All right. And that's that. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you're able to take the time to work on your lower back as well as your front core and your side abdomen as well to make sure you're hitting the core all around and not just from the front or from the sides. If you truly enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, that way you never miss a video anytime I post one. Like the video and comment down below how these exercises are helping you out in your every day to day life. Thank you for supporting the channel and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.